Hey guys, long time no see. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating the notchless method of fire making using mugwort. Now, mugwort is one of my more favorite plants, and not just for fire making, but also just because I love the smell of it. It's very aromatic. Uh, the smell for me is somewhere between, like, say, sage and cinnamon for me. Other people don't like the smell of it, but I love the smell of it. And I generally have some of it around my home just because I like that scent, but I did not collect any of this past fall. But I do have some of the spindles, and I'll be able to demonstrate the notchless method with it. Now, I believe this is plant number nine that I've demonstrated this method with on my channel. I still have four or five others, maybe six, I believe. I think I've personally done this with as many as 15 different plants and given enough time I will demonstrate those on my channel but for now I think I've more than proven that it's not just exclusive to just a couple of plants this will be plant number nine you can get I think I have a couple of videos where I demonstrate I do I do have a video where I demonstrate the hand drill but it wasn't the notchless method with mugwort it was one where it was a request for me to go out and do an on-the-spot friction fire with a very short spindle and I think I went all the way down to like two and a half inches or something like that. I can't remember what it was. I'll include the link to it. The reason I want to include that link is so you guys can see photos in that video of mugwort with the seed head, the pods and all that, so you guys can get a feel for it. And I'll also include a link where I use it for the fire row method. Um, but I think I've spoken long enough. Um, don't have anything else to say. Hopefully everyone out there is doing uh, good. And I'll go ahead and get this rolling so you guys can see how this performs with the notchless method. Um, I'm not going to take it to flame because it's too windy. <laughs> there are gusts today up plus, I think, maybe in the 20 plus mile per hour range. So I'm just going to take it to ember and quickly cut it out. I don't want to 